This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Back in the science fiction room, and I'm going to use the direct manipulation tool to work on the pose of the Ryan figure. So I'll focus on Ryan by dropping down the camera menu here, selecting the posing camera, and then I'll just zoom in on Ryan so I can see the parts I want to work on. I'll just rotate the view slightly because the first thing I'll do is actually hide parts of the figure I don't want to manipulate or that might cause problems when I'm choosing parts of the body. So to do this I'll use the hierarchy editor on the window menu. I'll just click on that and I want to make the mech arm right disappear so I'll just click on the eyeball icon there and those parts have disappeared. That just makes it a bit easier to see Ryan's limbs. So I'll close the hierarchy editor and I'll select the shoulder here rather the shoulder of the figure itself. There you are. And then I'll click on the direct manipulation tool and using the circles here I'll just make the adjustments I want. So the first thing I'll do is lift the shoulder up slightly using the red circle. Use the green circle to rotate it. Or rather the other way because it's pointing forward. And then use the blue circle just to lift it out away from the body slightly. The same goes for the forearm and the shoulder. So I'll just click on the shoulder here. And this time I'll use the red circle to twist the arm in the direction I want it to point. And then I'll use the green circle to lift it up. And on the forearm then I'll make that bend downwards. Again using the green circle to bend it forward. And I'll just check that pose by rotating. Now I need to move the arm in slightly. So I'll go back to the shoulder and I'll just bring that in slightly and rotate it using the red circle. That's slightly better. Now I'll come back to the forearm and I want to twist that slightly so again I'll just use the red circle here to twist it about that plane. Now I'm going to be doing more to the hand a little later so I'll leave that for the moment. Now I'll come back up to the hierarchy editor and make the mech arm visible again. And there you are, the pose is just about right. I'll just zoom in on the shoulder piece there to make sure that's not intersecting Ryan's bicep. I think it is slightly. So let's just come in there. Yes, you can see it's intersecting there. That's a little bit undesirable. So to fix that, I'll just click on the shoulder piece itself and see if I can do anything with the manipulation tools. So I'll just bend that slightly. Now that's making it rotate even further into the bicep. So to correct that, I'll click on the shoulder piece again. I'll turn off the hierarchy editor. As you can see, I've selected the shoulder armor here. So I'll come down to the translation tools here at the bottom of the parameters palette. I'll dial the Y translation up slightly just to make it clear the bicep. I'll make it come back into it again to see how much I need to do that. And probably about there is right. So that's set up now. I'll come back into the main view I set up earlier on the auxiliary camera and the arm is now pointing in the direction I want it to.